as favorite. Oof. I don't give a fuck what she's doing. Versus Ooh. Blaine. Bowser. Okay, I like this choice. Blaine has like said on Twitter, like, I, I should play my Bowser more. I, yeah. I respect his effort and his banjo. His banjo's been putting in the work. For and sure. I respect the Fox as a counter pick. But I miss the Blaine Bowser. There's something about how Blaine plays this character that like works. It, it's a character that flows with his style of pressure. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, for, for a character that doesn't seem like he has the most avenues for creativity or opportunity, he really does uh, stand out for striker. Exactly. Like they really do play differently. Oof, goes up for sure. Play. Love it. I like the patience around these grenades. Mm -hmm. I think it's a smart idea for this kind of matchup too, because like usually a big part of like dealing with Snake is the fear of I'm gonna take all this percent or I'm gonna take these trades if I rush in poorly or all that. But like the advantage there is like oh if Snake trades or if Snake Hag gets hit here or there, he can live it because he's heavy. Right. The heaviest character in the game is what you're fighting against. <laughs> so suddenly those trades aren't looking so hot. Right, right. He definitely keeps up. How are you going to get off this ledge? Plus, Bowser having great grabs in general, or great throws in general, decent grabs. Exactly. He doesn't always oh. have to like, trigger your stuff. That was wild. I like what he went for there with the, like, get on plat, try falling, to bait like an air dodge, fair. and then falling fair, but yeah. snake up, tilt, frame mad fast, and just Couldn't catch under. Hit him. Exactly. Bowser's too big for that. Under this is the follow-up off of the, of, the, of the grenade blow up. Not to sound biased, our dog getting some great, some great uh, extra credit here. Almost. Oh, almost taking he's the like... For how patient Blaine was like playing the first part and like watching himself, our dog is now matching that patience, and yeah. now he's the one who's getting the hits in. Like Blaine is pulling the trigger to like go at him, but he hasn't been getting the hits off of it. He'll like jump after him and like miss a back air or miss a command grab, and you can't miss against our dog Snake. You really can't. Okay. Our dog totally fine with just going to the seventh stage there for a moment. Comes right back in his face. Yep. Take a moment, like, I've got the lead. I can just hold forward now. With this Ooh. big of a lead, I can just push this. I see where you're teching. I see how you want to go out that and get wild. space. I'll just keep pushing in. So, Blaine looking at a loss here. Do you think we're going to see a character switch? I think so. I think because of how rough this match is looking, I think we will see a character switch from Blaine. Right. Unless he pulls some crazy comeback right now. Like, if he totally gets, like, a possible. crazy stock th after, like, another thing kills, he then maybe he'll be kill. like it. He needs that to kill. He can't, can't afford to be staling yeah. these things. He needs a crazy like momentum sweep. That was good. So was good. you snuck in, got the F tilt. You gotta play this stock perfect. Almost like to see a little more F tilt neutral. He's Very good call out with that up smash. For real. He's not in a terrible spot. This is still Bowser. He's a big guy. Yeah, well aware of the C4. Ooh. Fire breath so good it takes out the signal. <laughs> Ooh, he went for the back here, but Ardog pulled the trigger that first. He needed, he needed that first. That would have been it. That would have been like you took the stock after only taking like 10. Ooh. Jab 1 2, off stage. C4 on the left plat, so it's not an equation here. That was, I like that. It was a really 160. Yeah. I like that command grab from him. It was pretty safe. It was the right idea. Because yeah. he was up there just holding shield. He was just a little too far out. And then, like, you think about the option select, worst case scenario, Ardog reset like, the way he did. Exactly. And uh, he didn't get punished for that. I think he might stick to Bowser. He got like he kind of a feel yeah. for himself there. Like it was looking really rough at first, but that like kill and then that really good play that second stock really kind of pushed like no, you got this still. I just feel like the the options that Banjo allows for in disadvantage versus Bowser might be the deciding factor. It's very important. I mean, having a 45, negative 45 like projectile with multi-jump, see? Yeah, yep. just, yeah. It's a very good idea. Banjo does kind of good into a lot of other zoners, oddly enough, I feel. Mm -hmm. like. In general, I just think he's just strong. He's just such a strong character. I th honestly, one of the, this character, you could probably, in my opinion, theoretically, just you could play every matchup. He has everything. Banjo is absolutely a character whose biggest weakness is that this is Smash Ultimate. Banjo is not bad. But he has to work so much harder for things that a lot of top tiers and high tiers don't. Right. So it's like, he still has a really good tool set, but it requires a little more precision, a little more awareness, and a little more, like, input work. Yeah, you're not going to get it for free. You're going to have to be aware. You can't, you can't slack. Yep. The immediate dash attack to get out of the corner. Oh, that's good. I like that. These eggs are kind of good at like stopping grenades when our dog isn't really high up because he can't take the time to cook or throw them because he has to handle eggs. Sure. Plus, I'm pretty sure when it hits him, he drops the grenade, so it forces an action at that point. Exactly. And hey, Banjo could do his own too. There we go. 
Yeah, so he's, he's counter poking pretty well. That was on. Ooh. Very good call out. You gotta look for that. You can't let that. I'm just saying, like, you fight a banjo, that, that has to be on your mind. You have to always remember it. It's there. <laughs> it's, it's scary, and you don't want to, because you know, like, it's mad unsafe. They're not going to go for it. But because of how powerful that is, yeah. you have to respect it. I like Blaine's willingness to pull the trigger on it this early into the set, too. Like, not save that as a big read. Like, no, I'm getting the stock now. Yeah. I want you done. Totally, totally. Because that in itself is its own conditioning. But see, I almost would have liked to have seen more expectation from our dog side. Just because if you think about it, Blaine's coming from, from trying to make a comeback. If someone's in a deficit like that, I, and their neutral kind of already shows that they want to, like, pull triggers. Exactly. Has, you know, like, that's a place he could have assumed. Blaine has Blaine as a player is very good at that too. He he holds he wants to hit you. So absolutely that's something that Arnold could have been aware of. Yeah. Let's see if they confirm out the grenade. I'm gonna step away for a moment, but I will be back. No problem, Tree. Uh this is the up tilt. Tries to go for that same call out again, but thanks to that distance, only gonna get dash attack as the punish. Holding grenade, trying to make that save, but the back air is able to hit him out of it. I welcome back to the Mike He Show. Yeah, thanks, thanks so much, Peter. Glad to, glad to be back. Thing is, is that my opponent that I was facing was completely brand new to this match scene. Mm. And comparing to his 40, 43rd seat to my 22, I actually think there was no way he was ever going to, you know. It was a rough one. It's a rough, but hey, you got to learn. Exactly. Let's see how Blaine can get out of this corner. Gets to ledge. Grenade is out of his hand for that point. Tries to get the next Wonder Wing in. Oh, yeah. It's the thing is, is that, like, um, do, uh, do apologize if I'm actually seeing it on my phone as well. It's just that I promised a friend that he's going to be on live stream in, a, in another tournament down south in L.A. Well, if you've got that to focus on, you can do that instead of the commentary. If you've got your commitments, do that. Uh, I understand that. Do it for that, your but, homie. Yeah, but so far he's not he's not on, on the live stream yet. So, this right. is, so, so just this keeping is, it on the side. Yeah. Blaine's going all the way up there after him. Banjo can, but uh, yeah, the thing is, is that Banjo is kind of is a very interesting character to play against because I did kind of heard from the from the CT and beyond is that he's a very precise character to it. Like his his toolkit, what I heard from other players is definitely not the best, but with the right commitment and the right skill set to even play Banjo, he could be a real menace. Absolutely, Blaine's definitely shown that before. Yes, I feel so bad though about that grenade, that second stock. He tried to pull out his like grenade, but and Z catch it, but the platform drifted in and he landed, so he just grabbed in place and delivered himself right to our dog. That was so like sad. That is true. Our dog's kind of shifting up his grenade pressure. He's not trying to like cook them or delay them. He's just by like, this, here's by, two. By this point right here, both um, I don't give an F what she's doing and Blaine are just playing the neutral game. L, but and very that's gonna, good call. Up. That's gonna take it right there, and they're gonna go. And now these two players are gonna take it up to game three. I saw Blaine do like a little fist bump in the camera there when he got it. He was well aware of like the snake. What does snake do when you hit him up? He kind of popped up a bit. So they, Dro they can really snake drops with his grenade, does his usual landing. Sweet, eat a wonder wing. <laughs> How many things kill Snake just from like center stage at 90? You Not know, a whole lot. You know, but Wonderwing does. But you know, I'm actually quite the better in the badge you could do it myself. Not. I mean, the thing is that I actually legit grew up with the game itself, so right. I kind of know how Banjo plays out. Right. He does have a lot of toolkits that Sakurai could have pulled from his two games. But the thing is, is that um, you know, it, like I said, it still kind of feels limited. But we're kind of seeing that. With Blaine right here, he does kind of look like Banjo kind of has his full tool set, even though it's kind of limited. He's playing with a full inventory. Give me just one second here. Okay. No, okay. So far, so far, I haven't been called in for for the next set though, so I'm seem to be good. Blaine looking. Ooh, 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 that was supposed to be like a turnaround grenade. I'm almost positive. Oh, just wasted two Wonder Wings. I wouldn't say two. I think it was like around three because three was going back on stage. The second one was going to the opposite direction. Then he used his third one to get back yeah. on stage. Ooh, Down to one Wonder Wing on the stock. And he might have to burn it pretty soon. Ooh, but that tech right there is really. And that's it. Mm -hmm. That, you, that time we're going for aggression, Blaine, but our dog was ready for it. Yeah, Blaine kind of actually like a uh, screw up with his Wonder Wing count right there. That air dodge was so important. If our dog didn't air dodge there, he would have delivered himself into that Wonder Wing. 
Oh, yeah. But that was a real big commitment from Blaine, so beating percent for it. Yeah, but so far from what I'm seeing right here is that Blaine kind of did so well in game two, but why is he now struggling in game three? That's not only players be. They adapt their game plan, and not all the openings are working as they used to. Well, the thing is, thing is this is no MK Leo tweak game four. <laughs> he can definitely still try to bring this back, but he's got to figure something out. Well, Down smash is a good place to start. Get that stock. Yep. Now, basically, Blaine, because of Blaine taking that stock, he kind of calmed down a bit. So this is probably a good opportunity to try to uh, get get back. I don't, I don't give an F what she's doing. Good tech. Very good tech. Oh, but oh. too low. Oh, shaking his head off in the cam, too. He's not into that. You don't yeah. want that on a game three. I respect it. He needs to get these big plays in. He wants to even this out as soon as possible. Yeah, but seeing Blaine right now, he's kind of like mentally struggling at the moment. Mm -hmm. even this is an uphill battle that's definitely weighing on like the head. He may he, he may look calm on the outside, but inside he's probably struggling to figure out how is he going to get this game back. I like his awareness of some options still. He's still getting his hits in. He's not letting it weigh on him too much. But, but from the looks of it, he's now playing super aggressively, Nafti trying to be careful with his approaches here. Although, I really don't think he should start wasting much of his Wonder Wing. He's got him in a pretty good spot here. Goes all the way up there after them, force him to high cipher. Calls oh. out the back air, very good up tilt, last stocks. But if you have to look at Blaine's percentage right here, he's in a very good spot right now. So basically, if he can actually keep this momentum going, he could sure to, he could sure to reverse this game on. I don't give enough what she's doing. Absolutely. Banjo can rack that damage up like crazy, deceptively fast. Oh, pretty much. Very good empty land there. He spent this whole set hitting you with fares. Land and grab. This is the time to pull out those mix-ups, get those reads on players. Ooh, but so far I don't give an F what she's doing. He's just trying to make this whole place as a battleground. So many explosives everywhere. We don't even know where, where exactly where most of his grenades or the C4 is located at. But since but since we're spectating it, we kind of do realize where he's where where the C4 is at. But, this is but, scary. Last Wonder Wing to get to stage safely. That tool's off the off the table for kill options. And that C4 it. was sneaking there. This one last time you forget about it is the one time that matters most. Yes, absolutely, Peter. It's absolutely. The thing is, these two players have to play rough and tough. Blaine almost had that game back.